Yo, what is up, YouTube, man? Today, we are talking about the new Season 6 De'Aaron Fox Signature Combo in NBA 2K22. Real quick, if you guys are new, if you want to drop me a like and subscribe, you know I always appreciate it a ton. Now, Signature Combos are moves that aren't really used too much in NBA 2K22. It's more about running left, right, getting off threes, doing other things to get yourself open. And this De'Aaron Fox Signature Combo, I mean, just check it out right here. It's a little bit slow, but it does look smooth. If you guys want to know how to do it, all you have to do is one you can tap LT or L2 on PlayStation 5 or 4 and it'll give you the combo or you while you're holding RT you can just flick up on your right joystick and you can let the animation play out you can let part of it play out like that where he does the hezzy and then you can speed burst off of it it's very easy to do now why don't people usually do these animations the whole reason is there's not a whole lot of benefit to letting the whole thing play out you know I'm not moving too far while the animation is going it's used more to kind of just size up my opponent see if he's gonna pull up if he's gonna back up and then I can make a decision based on how he's playing that's not a lot of people's play styles that's more of a slow dribbling play style a lot of people would prefer to just run left really hard run right really hard if they're playing it fade it bailout pass that's just the way NBA 2k22 is but I do think doing signature combos can be a part of the way you dribble now this guy I'm playing two way three point shot creator 72 win percent pretty good player and I'm trying to skip around so you guys can really see me using the signature combo as I do right there don't really go anywhere with it but right here I get kind of an ugly speed boost to the right little step back little three going in it's not so much that the signature combo is getting me open by itself but while I'm doing it I can notice if he's backing up what direction I need to go and honestly he has no idea if I'm gonna burst out of it or if I'm gonna keep letting the animation play out as this man goes for the dunk with the meter misses it it is so unfortunate when you can't time the dunk with the meter because you almost always fall to the ground and they end up getting an open three and the 1v1 market I mean it's just tough but check this check I mean that guy hits an off dribble three I can't believe he did that I was not expecting that wild code good shot by him I do a little spin back break him stop to do my animation right here now I noticed while I was doing this move he wanted to kind of creep up toward me he wasn't fully committing to it but he definitely wanted to get closer he's kind of doing the same thing right here he goes for the reach as soon as I see him do that I burst to the right now unfortunately I take a beautiful shot off of that play and miss it which you know happens to the best of us a little momentum i'm breaking this guy like crazy i'm not gonna lie it's also very hard to get a rip out of the signature combo i will say that about it now i'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion of course i was kind of a fan of this animation i like how it played out i like you know Kind of just the slow animation, seeing the court, seeing what's going on. I do like where he does just the quick hezzy kind of animation out of it and then just speed bursting off that immediately. But overall, this signature combo, it's kind of slow. It's definitely for a specific play style. This guy not even here the first play that he comes back. That's me, you know, in a situation where I'm probably just wasting time where I can just run and not do the combo. And I would have gotten the bucket a lot easier. But as I was saying, I don't think this signature combo is the best in the game by far you can definitely find faster ones and you're probably not somebody that likes to do signature combo animations at all really you prefer just doing the meta dribble moves but i will say if you're somebody that likes to read the defense you know where you could just hit a move and then after you're letting that move play out you can watch the defender to see if he wants to play high if he wants to play back if he's leaning a certain direction then this move could definitely be something that you would enjoy also, you know, it looks pretty neat. That's one big thing about 2K. With everyone doing the same exact dribble moves, nobody's really going to be expecting the signature combo that you're doing. Nobody really knows what you're doing. I mean, a lot of people, they see you doing these moves. They're not sure if you're trying to do a hezzy, if you're trying to do a side-to-side, -side, and it's just the dribble animations you have on. It was a lot of fun. I probably wouldn't say the move actually helped me win more games, but I will say I did use the move to its fullest effect. I did use it to actually decide what the defense was doing and then that in return did help me win let me know if you guys have any favorite signature combos if there's any other signature combo animations that you want me to test out as that guy missed that dunk earlier in the video i do it right there like i said man you are just always falling once you miss the dunks it's also kind of difficult to actually get the nice speed boost animation out of this signature combo every single time i messed up a little bit right there but because i can do the step backs it ends up working out for me let me know if you guys enjoyed the video, man. This is Tonic, leaving you guys with a few more clips to end the video. I will catch you guys in the next one, man. I'm out. Peace.